Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to tell you whether the iPad mini is any good as a compact, portable, digital sketchbook for urban sketching. Today I'm joining my friends to sketch here at Peking Street. And as usual, I'm late again. But since today I'm drawing on a tablet, I should be able to draw and color pretty quickly without waiting for my watercolors to dry. There is no setup time and you don't have to spend time to clean up after you paint. Oh wow, we have so many people here today. Many of them regular sketchers. And let's have a look and see what they are actually sketching. So it's this restaurant with old school architecture. So I actually thought we were sponsored by the restaurant to sketch here, but we are not. I actually have two tablets with me today, the 8.3 inch iPad mini 2024 and the 11 inch iPad Pro 2024. Now if you are watching this video years from now, hopefully this video will still be relevant because in this video I will not be comparing specifications. I will be comparing the size and usability and workflow. By the way, if you notice the iPad Pro flickering, it's due to the OLED display. So this OLED display has house wave modulation and people with sensitive eyes may be affected by that. Anyway, the major difference between the 8.3 inch iPad mini versus the 11 inch tablets would be the size. So the mini is just way more compact and portable and you can hold this very easily with one hand either vertically or horizontally. So this allows you to stand and sketch more comfortably compared to holding a larger tablet. But I personally have no problems holding an 11 inch tablet for sketching while I'm standing but I do have an issue with the 13 inch because the size makes it more unwieldy. Now if you actually compare the surface area of the display, the 11 inch tablet is almost two times bigger compared to the iPad mini. Now one of the main reasons why I upgraded from the M2 iPad Pro to the M4 iPad Pro is because the OLED display has maximum brightness up to 1000 nits Whereas for the LCD display on the iPad mini, the iPad Air and iPad, if I remember correctly, is just up to 500 nits. So right now I'm actually under the shade, so these two displays, as you can see, look almost identical in terms of color quality and contrast. But if you use the Pro under direct sunlight, this is visibly brighter. The iPad mini now supports Apple Pencil Pro, just like the iPad Pro 2024 and iPad Air 2024. Just note that Apple Pencil 2 no longer works with this tablet. Oh, by the way, if you guys enjoy this video, do consider supporting me on Patreon to support the work that I do here on this YouTube channel and also my blog. If I'm actually seated down to sketch, it doesn't really matter whether I'm using a small or big tablet because I would just rest the tablet on my legs. So the app that I'm using for sketching is Concepts and let me duplicate this file first with all my settings. The bezels for all the tablets are this big so there is still space for my thumb to grip the tablet. Alright, let me try and create some drafting lines first. So one thing I can immediately feel is this screen size is small, noticeably smaller compared to the iPad Pro 11 inch that I use. So when the display size is smaller, um, I'm drawing, I find that I have to zoom out more often just to see the overall scene. If you are transitioning from a traditional sketchbook to a digital sketch pad, the drawing experience is going to be very different because now you are actually drawing on glass. I no longer use a matte screen protector so 
The Apple Pencil actually glides very smoothly on the glass and this will take some time to get used to. So I've been drawing without a matte screen protector for years so I'm already used to drawing on smooth glass so it's alright for me but if you are coming from paper it's going to take some time to adjust to drawing on glass. The pen performance is really good. The Apple Pencil Pro and Apple Pencil 2 supports pressure and tilt sensitivity. And the pressure support is actually really good. I definitely do not have any issues with tilt and pressure. Most of my lines are able to come out exactly the way I expect them to. So the performance is actually predictable and consistent. Arm rejection also works really well. By the way, with some drawing apps, you may have to enable palm rejection manually. But the default palm rejection provided by Apple Pencil works really well. Now this app concepts features an infinite canvas, so I can actually keep on drawing. But as mentioned earlier, it's kind of difficult to visualize the whole screen, sorry, the whole scene without zooming out. Now on a bigger 11 inch tablet, there is more space for you to show more of the scene, but on a smaller tablet, uh, when drawing, at least for me, I'm usually zoomed in, so to see the whole scene again, I have to zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, so it's not as convenient compared to using a larger 11 inch tablet. I would still prefer to draw on an 11 inch tablet, mostly because, I mean, when I'm going out, if I'm bringing a tablet, chances are I will bring my bag so if I bring my bag it doesn't really matter whether I bring the 11 or the small 8.3 inch tablet it really uh, doesn't matter and one thing I noticed while using the iPad mini is I actually tend to use it more at home I pick it up more often compared to my 11 inch tablet because it's just it's just so handy to pick up a smaller tablet like this unless I am unless I really want a bigger tablet for drawing I would pick up a bigger tablet but for web browsing checking social media emails uh, most of the time I actually pick up the smaller tablet now if you have to choose one size I would probably recommend you go with the 11 inch. It doesn't really matter whether you get the Air, the base iPad or the Pro. Uh, the drawing experience is mostly similar. It's just the, the differences between the iPads is just the extra features that you get. But the drawing experience is identical for all, for all these iPads because they all use Apple Pencil or a variation of Apple Pencil and it has started to rain but thankfully we are under the shelter this whole place is sheltered and it's raining really heavily so let me just go away from the rain because the tablets are not waterproof or water resistant in any way I've just copied this sketch over to the 11 inch tablet so let's take a look at the differences now the OLED display does have better contrast but unless you have two tablets side by side to compare it's actually very difficult to tell the difference and also if you are not working under very bright conditions it's very difficult to tell the difference between the LCD versus the OLED because the Apple LCD is actually pretty good quality okay so while drawing this sketch 
the difficulty that I have is or the inconvenience that I have is when I have to draw the details I have to zoom in and when I'm zoom, zoomed in it's difficult for me to visualize the whole scene because when I am drawing I want to draw I want to make sure that the proportion for what I'm drawing is correct relative to the rest of the scene so when I'm too zoomed in it's very difficult for me to compare the size of for example this table versus the front of the building whereas on a bigger tablet I can have this zoomed view I can draw close up and I can still see a good amount of the scene so this allows me to visualize the composition better it also allows me to get the sizing right more easily and when you're drawing on an 11 inch tablet you can place a pump on the display and still get a good amount of space to draw with on the smaller tablet just now while I was drawing I was actually just drawing like this with my finger on the side of the tablet so this is still a good size to draw but you get like way more drawing space for drawing on an 11 inch tablet but the main advantage as mentioned earlier really is you get to see this more zoomed out view to see more of your scene and more of your composition so this is the show and tell the perspective is almost consistently wrong yep does that make sense yes yeah and i love yes. it <laughs> So this is the weekly sketching group that I have joined years ago. These are my friends from Urban Sketches Singapore. So which tablet size to get really comes down to personal preference. I prefer an 11 inch tablet because the screen size is still big enough to draw comfortably and it's not too heavy so it's easy to handle but of course if you want a more compact portable tablet or a larger display you have the option to get those tablets as well. So I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.